Adriana Gascoin. I am reporting for Bubblelicious. Tonight we're here at the Git launch party. Git means girls in tech. So we're having a great time at um, Slide. And um, I'm here with Kevin from Merchant Circle. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's my pleasure. Anytime. So tell us a little bit about Merchant Circle. What do you guys do? So Merchant Circle, basically, we provide a rep reputation management system for store owners. So basically, there's a lot of businesses out there who don't have a web presence. We give them one, basically, kind of like MySpace for businesses. Okay. Yeah. So Any Anything new and exciting coming up that you could share, a little tidbit, a little uh, secret? Very, oh, you mean within Merchant Circle? Yeah. Oh, well, we're actually about to hit 100,000 in April. So we almost, we're really close to bringing 100,000 small businesses onto the internet. And uh, we just had a Business Week article featured in us last week. So it's, it's been pretty exciting. So we have a lot in store coming up. Great. So I hear from um, the grapevine, and a little birdie told me, actually, that you are a ballroom dancer. <laughs> you have a good memory. You have a good mer memory. Yeah. Can you, can you show us some of your moves real quick? <laughs> Only if you'll be my partner. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck. Hey, thank you very much. So I'm here with Annie from Woman 2 Dotto. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? Great. Thanks so much for making it out to um, Git Girls in Tech. How you, are you having fun so far? I am. Thanks so much for inviting us. Oh, my pleasure. So tell us a little bit about your um, organization and up upcoming events. Okay. Well, I'm an event producer for Women 2 Dotto. And what we are is we're a group for women in technology and entrepreneurship. And actually, we have a business plan competition coming up in April that we're trying to promote. So if you're interested, we have a mixer at Stanford next Thursday, March 8th at 6 p.m. And you can visit our site at women2.org for more information about that. Okay. So what are you doing with this organization? Why did you start this? Well, actually, the four co-founders are my sister Angie and her friends Wenwen, Shivani, and Shy Rose. And they're actually spin-offs from Entrepreneur 27. Okay. And we're trying to promote this geared specifically towards women, not because we're super exclusive like a sorority or anything, but because we find that it's important to feature women in technology who are interested in business and can make it. So we're trying to provide the platform for that. Great. Well, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you so much. Again, we're here at the Git launch party. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing well, thanks. Great. Chris is with MyCurrency.com. And what is it that your company does? MyCurrency uh, is looking to solve the valuation problems in housing by using the wisdom of the crowds. Use basically, the more people who put their estimate into what a housing value, it's more accurate. And then by using the wisdom of crowds, we're also finding the wisest of the crowd, determining who's the best at what they do. So we're developing a tangible reputation. Great. So any new exciting announcements or features coming up that we should know about? Get a heads up about? Well, we're actually still we're still in alpha. We launched that demo and we're still just trying to get the uh, the small, you know, problems out of the website, but hopefully down in the future we'll have some uh, exciting announcements to tell you. Great. Great. Well, we wish you all the best of luck. Oh, thank you. I am here with Faisal from Phone. How's it how's it going tonight? Good. Just arrived and uh, it's great to be here. Are you having a good time? Very good time. How can you not? Girls in technology. Yes, girls in technology. We rule. So tell us a little bit about your company. What is it that you guys do? Fon is a uh, Wi-Fi community. It's the largest Wi-Fi community in the world. We've been around for one year now. Uh, and we uh, have become very, very quickly bigger than T-Mobile, bigger than Boingo, uh, bigger than all the conventional uh, Wi-Fi providers that you know and hear about. And we hope to have uh, a million hotspots by the end of the year. Any new announcements coming out or things that are exciting that you can share with us? Uh, there's lots of exciting things happening, but uh, we'll let you know when we can announce them. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thanks so much. Have a great evening. Thank you very much. You too. I'm here with Stephen, who is the Business Development Director for Level 3. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing very well. 
Great. So tell us a little bit about Level 3. What's, I mean, we all know what it is, a data storage company, but what are the new and up-and-coming um, announcements or interesting things? Well, you all know about our acquisition of the Savas assets recently for content delivery. Um, we're expanding that network. We're building up to it, and uh, we're looking for companies right now that can use the content delivery service to uh, extend their footprint. I know that you're, you work with a lot of big companies, i.e. YouTube. Um, I know you're, you're trying to get more into the Web 2.0 space. How are you doing that? Well, I think what we've done in the past has been very much a wholesale focus. And with the Content Markets Group, the reorganization of the company, we've really tried to um, focus on the companies that need a small amount of service first but need to have the quality of a level three and grow into it rather than switch providers right at the critical time of their business. Awesome. Well, who are some of your well-known clients? Well, the ones we can talk about. Uh, can talk about. That would be uh, Yahoo, Pandora Media, companies like VideoEgg, iMeme. Uh, these are some of the companies that we've worked with recently in the new Web 2.0 space. Great. I heard uh, iMeme's here today. I will have to be inter introduced to these folks because I haven't worked with them directly. Oh, really? Okay. Wonderful. Well, we wish you all the best of luck. We actually heard that you're having an event tomorrow. Is that true? Uh, yes, we are. We're having an event here in San Francisco called Temporary Comprehension. Probably the very best way to describe the Internet as it stands today. What you think you know, you don't know five minutes later. Exactly. It's ever-evolving, ever-changing. We wish you all the best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I have Matthew here from Bridge Skill. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Fantastic party. Congratulations. Great. Tell us a little bit about your company. I mean, obviously, you're venture capital, but what types of companies do you invest in? Uh, well, BridgeScale, we're a brand new fund, about $160 million. We focus on later stage companies, and the thing that makes us different is we look at companies that need a smaller amount of money. There are a lot of funds out there that are really big, and not every business needs $50 million to succeed. So we look at situations where we can write checks sort of in the 3 to $5 million range. And like a lot of other firms, we want to roll up our sleeves and really help companies get the resources, the people, and relationships they need to succeed. What are some of the portfolios you invest in right now? Uh, we have five portfolio companies so far. One example would be Digital Chocolate. And Digital Chocolate's a really exciting company. They make uh, video games for cell phones. Very cool. And, you know, it's like chocolate, so something you can enjoy in a few minutes that's addictive and that's fun. And, you know, a lot of women are actually playing these uh, video games and cell phones. So very appropriate for girls in tech. Uh, absolutely. But see, when the guys are playing it, they play the games that are shoot-em-ups. When the women are playing it, they're playing brain juice to enhance their memory and, and um, acuity. Very cool. That's very neat. Um, and so, in your opinion, what is has been the biggest investment, you know, the the most lucrative investment to date? Lucrative investment for me or for... Well, it, 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 it's, it's hard to compete with, uh, well, Google certainly, but YouTube uh, has to stand out as the absolute best investment of all time, not just in terms of the exit price, but the amount of time that elapsed. I mean, from the time that the idea was conceived, funded, and sold was less than a year. I mean, that's really spectacular. So hard to compete with that. Um, and then, you know, on a longer term, I, I, Google and YouTube just has to, has to be. Thanks so much. All the best of luck. Thank you.